Hey guys, Justin from Extreme Transmission. Let's go ahead and do an air test on a 4L60E. I've gone ahead and labeled the ports for you guys. Reverse, 3-4, forward, and overrun. The overrun clutch, you're going to have to plug the forward as well. Now the forward. Three, four. And the reverse input. Remember that the reverse input has air bleeds and we are air checking this. We are not checking it hydraulically, so you may get some air sounds. What you're looking for is what is the minimal amount of apply pressure? Then will it hold maximum air pressure? And how long does it hold pressure for? Now, if it has an air bleed in it, clearly it's not going to hold air for very long. The ones that do not have air bleeds in them, well, they're going to hold air longer. You need to know that information and keep it in the back of your mind while doing an air test. Have a good day, guys.